I was born in Iran. The revolution happened when I was around three or four years old. Immediately after the revolution in Iran, there was a big war between Iran and Iraq. I remember vividly one time we were sitting down and there was a mushroom cloud that went up a few blocks from where we were that one of the rockets had hit it. So obviously it's some experiences that you never forget. And, uh, but at the same time, it makes you appreciate the opportunities that um, you have um, in the U.S. right now. In the third year of my university during the summer, I got my first research experience, which was actually in a tissue engineering lab. I really fell in love with that research right off the bat. One of the major problems right now in trying to address uh, problems in healthcare is that it costs so much to make a single drug. And the reason for that is that typically uh, these drug companies, what they do is that they have a huge library of compounds that they try to see whether any of these is good for a particular disease. They test them in dishes with cells. They put them in uh, mice and rats. Then they try to put it in people. The human physiology is very different. Um, and that's why many times when you go to clinical trials, the drug winds up failing. Now, wouldn't it be great if you can actually take human physiology and recreate it outside of people in a way that you can predict what my response or someone else's response to a particular compound can be. So our goal is to actually try to do that. We try to take cells from individuals who may even have a particular disease, take these cells and then be able to make different tissue types that actually matches the person's own genetic variability, whether it's liver or heart or vasculature or any other type of tissue, and be able to make these tissues as functional as possible so we can use technologies like 3D printing or material science to really make these cells in a, as functional environment as possible so they mimic the, the tissue that we want to recreate. One of the things that I see for my own students is that they're a lot more nervous about the current climate. I've actually have had a number of students who wind up going to other countries who were um, interested in initially in coming to work with us. I always see myself as one of those people who could have been applying to my lab. My main advice to any student is that first, explore different things and find your passion. Also being able to really believe that you're solving important things. You're not just doing something that keeps you busy, like solving a puzzle that at the end no one cares about. If you actually do your work, then you can make a big impact. You can you know, change the world. <laughs>